<laughs> How's it going on, Charlie? I'm Gene. Let's shoot in multicasting, Gene. Yes. Got ourselves cast straight today. Mm -hmm. This is Gutter's Weeded Bourbon, the Bradford. Uh, so they are building a new distillery in, I believe it's Scranton, I think, Kansas. So in Kansas, new distillery being built. I want to say Sedan. Sedan sounds yeah. that sounds right. More it's right. It's probably on the bottle. More perfect. It probably what is. You have on your in your. Starts hands. with the letter S. Me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, neat website, and I actually don't. I think a lot of websites are neat. Neat website showing the bottle or showing the uh, distillery, the building. Should be done later this year. 63% uh, corn, 34% wheat, 3% barley. This is a 59.2 okay. is the ABV. So 118.4 proof. Uh, this is a weeder. It is, I believe, two years old, or do we maybe not know? Actually, I don't, I don't think we know an age on this. Yeah, there's no age. They're not calling themselves a straight. Uh, so no clue on the age. If you know the age, leave us, let us know down in the comments. Appreciate your subscription to the channel. Thumbs up if you like us. Thumbs down if you do not like me. She get on the nose. Um, I get something sour. I get huh. like a, a sour green apple. Almost like it's a new make actually. It, yeah, I'm getting a lot of that vinegary new make smell. Like when we, um, we're first, our own. When we were first yeah. aging our own, and we were taste, we were smelling them before. You we know, were just, matured. Yeah. So yeah, we, we we have videos on here on here for curious about making our own whiskey. We're right now we're, we're aging ten gallons down in Blackland in Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah, we're letting the experts do it, but we yeah. also are trying to do yeah. some, still. We're still got yeah. some stuff down got here. Two, four, six. I don't. Know, we got some liters aging right underneath my left hand right here. But um, this reminds me a lot yeah, of that. It does. It's got that that vinegary sour note. Yeah. And I know they don't add coloring. Uh, so if this is a year, like it smells, if this is really young bourbon, uh, good for them for the color. Well, ours has a really nice color too. That's true. But we, ours is in a smaller. Small barrel, barrel, yeah. Maybe this is a small one too, who knows? We actually should get that out. It's been a full year. It's been a year that it's been sitting underneath there. We should do that. We should. We should do that for the people. Yeah, the, the people want to know. what they want, man. What they want. Uh, yeah, so maybe that's just yeah. overpowering that those those notes for me. I'm trying to get something different underneath there. I dig new make noses. For me, they're you, you, they are vinegary, but for me, there's a vanilla there, a lemongrass. I dig those notes like a vanilla, a wet vanilla cake dough. I, I like them better than you, than you like them. Were you hearing Jack or something? Yeah, I was, I was moving my. He was stomping to the beat. There's a teenager yeah. above us playing some games. Uh, I'm having a go in. Have a go in. But there's a lot of like the sour Jolly Rancher, sour apple, um, mm. maybe a sour grape. But the sour is definitely huh. in the, my adjectives. The so it opens up everything about this is sour, sour grass, very earthy, very herbal. A little bit of black raspberry or black tea rather, but like a raspberry black tea. Um, the sweetness from the wheat is awesome. I actually like it a lot. Huh. Uh, but the, the the sourness is a little too overpowering for me. It is a little over sour, but um, I get like, and I get this on a lot of wheat. I get the leather and the black licorice, mm. um, and this is high wheat, right? Thirty nine percent, thirty four percent. Okay. So on the uh, uh, the uh, I had the same note on the cork, and I do now. For me, the finish is one hundred percent black coffee. Um, Maybe it's not quite a, maybe a flavored coffee. You're the coffee drinker, but for me, that's a coffee there's finish. Some, yeah, there's some coffee bean in there. It's it's it's, it's unique. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a grape, a sour grape popsicle with coffee beans, which sounds like a weird combination, but that's what I got going on. So for me, it's a unique whiskey because it starts out. It's I mean, it's sour, but for me, it starts out juicy and thick, but then it it transitions into the coffee note, and it's very astringent on the finish. It's a heavy coffee note, black raspberry tea, um, and it dries out the tongue a little bit, which is unique because it's so juicy at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So I'm, I'm curious what it age is, and I'll, they're, they're a decently new distillery, new-ish, so I wonder if they're, this is just, they're cranking this out. Maybe it is really new, and they're just cranking it out to get a product out there. That could be. Because I know, like Iron Root, when Iron Root did that, right. they did not mix anything with it. They're just now mixing things with MGP just to experiment. Uh -huh. But a lot of people will buy established bourbons 
mix it with their own product. That's what uh, I think this would have been. Jamesy Pepper did. I think this would have been better as a blend if they blended it with something else. Because to me, this is just a little mm. too much new make on, on no. for me. You want notes for the water, don't you? Uh, water didn't change anything for me. Maybe added more of a uh, a bread that's been dough bread that's not been cooked thoroughly, which can be good. Mm, it maybe brought up a little bit more peppers, but that is a sour grape popsicle mm. or sour uh, yeah. apple. Ooh, okay. So for me, I'm, with water changes, it for me this is more wheat. I get like a, a, a I've been getting a dough the whole time, but the I would actually think there's some rye in this mash bill with the peppers that I'm getting. Oh, um, oh no, there isn't any rye. <laughs> what is this one? Oh, Gunner, because that's Gunner. the whisker. The whisker did Gunner, and you made a little gun there. Okay. Yeah, it's a water gun. Yeah. So yeah, but it was it's a water. It's, water. It's, yeah, it's a water gun. If I don't watch my whiteboard, I need to start hiding my whiteboard. No. Um. Uh, Eighty-three. What'd you do, Miss Jean? I did an eighty-four. Eighty-four. There you go. There you go. Generous eighty-four. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the, uh, I love that we uh, have new distilleries popping up in Kansas. Uh, Tomstown, I believe, is on the Missouri side. And they yeah. have they had other ones. Yeah. Didn't Gunners have uh, yeah, they some, yeah. something else? Yeah, this is the first one we tried on their line. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you got Boot Hill and Dodge City. We had one here in Wichita it shut down. Uh, people just bought it, but aren't cranking anything out. So oh, Wheatland Distillery or something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then but Colorado cranking out dynamite stuff. Texas cranking out dynamite stuff. Kansas, Oklahoma. Well, not I, have, so much. I have high hopes for them. I oh mean, yeah. Let's say that this is just something they wanted to crank out and get it out there. Yeah. Um, Five years, maybe, four years, ten years down it, the road. It just needs a little more time. No. Yeah, I agree. In my opinion. Uh, appreciate your subscription to the channel. Thanks for watching. Do you have anything to add, Gene? Nothing else to I'm add. Charlie. But you're cute. I'm yeah. Add that. I'm married. Cute. Settle down, chicky. I'm married. I'm Charlie. <laughs> I'm Gene, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.